Ladies and gentlemen, if I can ask you please to take your seats so we can get this wonderful event underway. Welcome to the PRI in person and welcome to Singapore. I'm Ali Moore, I'm your MC and I'll be directing traffic to the best of my ability over the next couple of days. This event will really put the spotlight on responsible investing in a way that hasn't been done in this region for many years. You'll get the opportunity to share best practice in environmental, social and governance engagement. And of course, there'll be plenty of opportunity to network. There are more than 600 of you, so lots of opportunity to catch up. You come from every continent except Antarctica, and I'm guessing that in terms of the climate imperative, Antarctica might get a mention, even if they're not actually represented. And while we're on diversity, almost half of the speakers that you'll hear from over the next couple of days are women. This event really illustrates just how far responsible investing has come from the days when all you had to do was sit there and think about which unsavory industry you didn't want to touch. Investment funds that are focused on it have ballooned, and for many, it's now a guiding principle. 2016 also marks, as you know, the 10th anniversary for the PRI, and it's been a year where shareholder meetings around the world have challenged boards and challenged companies on everything from disclosure of lobbying to pesticide pollution and, of course, climate change. But, as the PRI says, there's plenty more to do. And so Singapore is not a random choice for this event. For the first time in eight years, this conference has come to this region because in this region, responsible investment is really in its early stages. But there is a huge desire from people to know more and to learn more. Of course, the PRI is committed to support the UN 2030 Agenda and the Global Sustainable Development Goals, which is one reason that we're here at Marina Bay Sands. This complex has been formally recognized for its sustainability, and I can tell you that deep below us somewhere, there are five massive grinders that are grinding down all the food waste and turning it into drinkable water. Another little tidbit about uh, Marina Bay Sands you might not know, and this is especially if you've wondered about why the place is so big as you walk down the corridors and hope that eventually they'll end. I've been told that when Singapore decided to introduce a casino, there was a great deal of concern on the island about what that would do to the moral fabric of the place. So the government decided that the actual casino could only be under 5% of the total floor space. So now you understand why this place is so big. This entire conference has been carbon offset, and that's thanks to partner the South Pole Group. It's paperless, almost. Apologies for my paper. And all breaks, lunches, and the welcome reception are vegetarian. In fact, Singapore itself, this tiny dot of a place that's turned itself into a world financial center, it's a surprisingly green city. If you're staying here and you look out your window, you may not think that, uh, with the exception, of course, of the extraordinary gardens by the bay. But if you go further afield, botanical gardens or a place called McRitchie Reservoir, there are these huge swathes of green in this city of glass and steel. If you do go further afield, this is not a paid ad, but I might suggest you take something a little like this. Right now, a bit of mozzie repellent goes a long way. You would have heard that Singapore has now got the Zika virus. So a bit of repellent and covering up the arms and legs when you're out and about is advisable. That said, all the conference events are inside and the buses tonight will take you directly from downstairs to the venue for tonight's reception. On the subject of clothing, I should say you've no doubt noticed that Singapore is a very hot place, but it's also a very cold place. It's not called the country of air conditioning for nothing, and it can be downright freezing in places, so you have been warned. Another thing that you might have noticed, 
Singapore loves an acronym. So I don't know whether you've already been in, in a taxi, maybe coming in from the airport, and you've heard what, to all intents and purposes, sounded like a reading of the alphabet. It wasn't, it was actually a traffic report. A jam on the KPE, a bingle on the PIE, delays on the ECP, slow on the TPE, running well on the AYE, not to mention the SLE, the KJE, or the MCE. They're all highways, and this place is only 720 square kilometers. If you drive for more than 40 minutes, you are in Malaysia. It's quite an extraordinary place, and it is a wonderful host, so I hope you enjoy your time here. As well as the plenary sessions over the next three days, there's a whole series of breakout sessions which have been coded according to your level of experience with responsible investment. They are the toolkit sessions, the impact roundtables, or the risk management sessions. There are also, as I said, some extended networking breaks built into the program, and that's a very good opportunity to visit the Knowledge Theatre that's in the exhibition hall. You can hear short talks from members of the PRI's research team and, of course, from others. There's the dinner tomorrow night and the drinks tonight. The buses for the drinks tonight will leave at quarter to seven, but I'll remind you of that a bit later. A bit of housekeeping. It goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. Please put your phones on silent. Uh, water and glasses are down in the two back corners of the room. If a fire alarm goes off, please listen for announcements. And if you're instructed to leave, go via the stairs and meet at the water taxi south on the promenade. There are two Wi-Fi options for this conference. The first is MICE Hotspot, which has no password, and the second is PRI underscore in underscore person, and the password for that is PRI is 10, so it's easy to remember. Everything you need to know is in the conference app. If you've already downloaded it, could you refresh it to make sure you've got the latest information? And there is a, a support desk on the PRI stand in the exhibition across the way if you need any help.